Hello friends, today again I am presenting FACO in undilated pupil. So what are the challenges that we face in an undilated pupil? The first is rexis. Rexis is very important when we have less pupillary dilatation. Then comes the emulsifying of nucleus and finally the cortical wash is difficult. So let's watch this video. As you can see the eye was clear and I, as I started there was a minimal subconjunctival bleed and that increased to a bit and as you can see the pupil was mid dilated now you can appreciate there is some amount of bleeding subconjunctivally and this will form a clot there in the subconjunctival space however that doesn't affect a surgery uh, probably this patient may be in hypertensive patient and we do get such situations in hypertensive patients at times and as you can see that the pupil is mid dilated and when you proceed for surgery in such cases what happens is the pupil it constricts further and so it becomes really tricky to do such cases and let's watch this video how I proceeded and what all things I did take care during the surgery and as you can see still the clot is smaller and it will become bigger now see the bleed has started more and that bleed will now extend a little bit more in the subconjunctival space and as you can see the entry was made with the 3.2 keratome and with utratas you can go and create a rexis and as you can see pupil is fairly dilated at this point so rexis creation wasn't a problem but see here as I am making the rexis the pupil dilatation is going down a bit it is becoming more of a undilated I mean little bit undilated but I was able to complete this rexis so things that you have to take care is that in such cases there should not be any thrust and if the pupil is undilated just loosen your speculum a bit and if you suspect that the case would be undilated intraoperatively I mean the dilatation won't be much to so give preoperatively estazolamide and once the rexis is done once the hydro is done do not manipulate too much on dialing just a minimal dialing ensures that your lens is free from the capsule and now you can see that the pupillary dilatation is not that great but still you have done rexis so direct chop in such cases may be a good deal and as you can see I just buried my tip into the lens matter and I am trying to do a kind of a peripheral chop and I was able to achieve the first crack now see again uh, my hold was not good but still I did manage to get a crack and I am rotating here our intention is to create smaller pieces as far as possible and once you have created a rexis once you have created small pieces this pupillary dilatation won't affect much until the patient has a high positive thrust and as you can see that I am able to chop this nucleus easily into smaller pieces this is a grade 3 nucleus and all you have to be is very gentle and after creating multiple pieces you can lift one of the pieces into the central safe zone and just be careful not to deliver too much of power because that may cause some delivery to the endothelium also and may cause SK the next day and as you can see these smaller pieces they were created and one by one they were lifted with the help of FACO probe and emulsified and one half of the nucleus was emulsified then you could just rotate and at this point I would advise to use visco and then go ahead with FACO because that protects the endothelium a lot and as you can see the pieces were emulsified and the pupil was undilated I mean the dilatation was not very great and now you can see there is a small piece so you don't have to go and emulsify it at the periphery you can just bring it to the center and then aspirate and see the job was done the pupil dilatation is quite less and now you have to be careful regarding the irrigation and aspiration so the rule remains the same you have to go beneath the iris sweep it and just hold the 
cortex bring it to the center and then aspirate you don't have to aspirate it in the periphery you just have to hold it bring it to the center and then you just press the foot pedal to aspirate initially you just have to hold and that actually is a very safe mechanism because you won't be able to pull your capsule to the center and once you have pulled the cortex to the center you can aspirate and see this mishap I had during injection of IOL however I was quite safe the heptics are still attached to the optics and it takes sometimes few seconds for this haptic to get released and all you have to do is wait patiently or you can use a dialer for repositing and uh, helping that haptic to unfold and uh, with the flow of fluid with the irrigation in place it takes few seconds for that haptic to unfold and see the aisle was well in back and in center and the case was done in this undilated pupil and finally hydro of the wounds was done thank you for watching this video